So the idea is to remove all of these slats. These were connected with screws through the top and actually plugged. Goodness knows why I plugged them. There we go. So hopefully we can get that screw out. Five more of those to do. And hopefully some of these will come out a little bit easier. If you're having trouble driving a screw back out and uh, you've just got a point there and you can't really hit it with anything easily, get a Phillips head screw, stick that over the end. Always best to support it with some pliers. That'll help you drive it. Not quite all the way yet. Help me drive it back the other way. Now next thing I have to do is get the gate off, which again could be a bit of a struggle after all these years. Clearly I was having a good day and I used brass screws. Excellent. Disconnect the, the panel. That again I screwed in. So that's our panel loose, so our post can now come out. As you can see, it's pretty rotten. Right. So we've got to get that bolt off, and say so that's been in for about 15 years. I'm sure, it's probably rusted. Maybe not. So this is probably a good time just to tell you how you could get that out if it had rusted and it wouldn't shift. So there are about five methods. I can think of that most people have got the, the kit for. So some WD-40, let's, let's advertise it, it's WD-40. Spray that, leave it overnight, you know, a few more sprays if it's still not loose. That's one way you can do it. Second way, uh, some of you will have a uh, blowtorch. Heat the, uh, the nut and you usually find that that will do enough to, to loosen it up. Another option is to sometimes just tap in the, the nut or loosen it up as well. And that, all those methods will actually save you the nut and bolt so you'll be able to use it again uh, to put the new post in. If none of those work, then uh, you've got the destructive methods. One is to use a punch on the nut, wallop it several times, and uh, if you're lucky, the nut will break. Most people have a hacksaw, so you can hacksaw it off. And in here, you should better get to a, a position where you won't damage the socket, and you can cut that off. So, as you can see, there's not much motion on there so it's going to take you a long time. So my favourite method is to employ something like bolt cutters. Again here we struggle to get them in. There's a five methods you can try. Beyond that you can also if you've got an arc welder you can use the arc welder from underneath on the bolt. All the molten method when you strike the arc is going to drip off so eventually you'll manage to cut through the bolt. If you've got um, a plasma cutter, obviously a piece of cake, and if you've got oxyacetylene torch, again a piece of cake. But luckily, it looks as though 
this one's going to come off. Well, look what the ants, etc., have turned that wood into. Isn't that amazing? So we'll clean that out and we'll be ready to put the end of the post back in. So it's rotten quite a long way up. Certainly that far. So let's try cutting through there. See it's rotten right up here as well. I couldn't get through the archway without bending down before, so I figure I'll just lower the whole arch, use the same post. So I've just had a look around, that's the only piece of 3x3 three three I can find. What I'm going to do is put that on there, put the uh, dowel in the middle for the top section, level across, again down in the top, fit the top sections, fit the arch over the top. So I slightly cocked up there and didn't film this last bit, I just took a level off from there, marked it, squared it round and I've been cutting that off. Created some dowel stock on the lathe. Nice tight fit in there. I've made this short blank from the one I had I showed you earlier. Just a hole at each end. Got a dowel in there, which is the original one from that post. That fits nicely. So dowel in there. screws have got a clear shank at the top so I need a clearance hole for that and then the pilot hole for the screw itself. Ooh, I've got a steel screw which is the same thread it appears to be so I'm going to run that in first. So that cuts the thread which means that when I put the brass one in um, it's not going to break off when I tension it up. This is looking a lot better than it did when I filmed it not so long ago. 